right everyone i just released a video talking about the kim launcher and what the explosion damage actually was thank you all for voicing your opinions because now i realize what it is skill damage that was a bit confusing to me because in tu6 the kim launcher explosion counted as explosive damage now it's clear so let's get on to how we can use techniques and one skill in particular to counter this two things first of all i want you to watch this short gameplay clip of me using the skill so you can see it in action. Secondly, the build I'm using in this video is an unreleased build I've been working on, which I'll upload soon. After this video, I'll break down how to use this effectively against Kim Launcher users and why it's such a great counter. So just enjoy this footage for now. Oh, that's out of where we are. Oh, okay. Uh oh, okay. An agent needs assistance. Hey, behind, behind Lolo, come on. Lolo. They behind us, behind us. No. Oh. Oh, behind us. Down, buddy. Here. They're trying to sandwich us. Maybe we should push one way. Yeah. Let's go this way. Lolo and Adept, let's go right. Y'all ready? Or no. I hit him with a sticky bomb. Push up. Come on. Let's go. He's on fire. This dude right here. Got him down. Baited you out. Go push, push, push. Good mm. idea, buddy. Ratio one's flanking. Right. Oops, he did. <laughs> hey. Oh. I hit him with the sticky. Oh. You're done, buddy. <laughs> the sticky bomb is my meta. Hey. Yes, that was the sticky bomb, the fire sticky to be exact. So we'll be fighting fire with fire. The sticky bomb takes a bit more skill to master than a chem launcher. But if you're up to the task, listen up. I'm an experienced user of the chem launcher fire starter. That skill is a counter to many DPS builds. So let me explain to you the mindset of somebody who uses it. What they expect is for you to shoot at them. Once you do, that's their cue to shoot the chem cloud at your feet. Or if you're behind cover, that'll ignite the explosion, dealing massive damage to you while leaving you on fire, and you have a very slim chance of survival after that. With this sticky bomb counter, you will be using that to actually counter them. Look at how I'm aiming my weapon at him. So he's relying on me to shoot so he can gain the advantage by shooting the chem cloud on me. He has no idea what's about to happen to him. This is what you call a mind game. So because I'm aiming my weapon, it makes him think I'll shoot. But instead, I'm shooting my sticky bomb, which will hit him first and one shot him because of how squishy skill tier players are. I made a sticky bomb build called the warrior. I explained how to use it in that video as well. But I think some of you may not really understand how. I got a few complaints in my comment section from console players saying that you can't pull this off with a controller. I apologize if you didn't get it to work, but I have to tell you that this is definitely possible to do with a controller. I used to play on Xbox, so I know exactly how you feel. I was talking to You Know The Vibes, a great YouTuber, by the way, that has very chill streams. Check him out and you'll see why that's his name. Here's the link. But yeah, I was talking to him and he plays with a controller on PS4. He told me that he was a little bit confused about how to use it and that he used L1 to pull the sticky out. Then after it was out, he tried to double tap R2, which is the button used to fire your weapon. But that's not the way. So I gave him some clarity and told him that while you're aiming your weapon to double tap L1 
or whatever button that skill is linked to. If you do that, whoever you're aiming at will be hit instantly. Same goes for Xbox or PC. Whatever button you have the sticky bomb linked to, quickly double tap that button and you're golden. This takes some practice because the sticky is deadly accurate and you can miss sometimes. But for people like those who use chem launcher, also snipers or M1A users, this works on them also because remember, you don't even have to get out of cover to use this. The crosshairs of your weapon are on the middle of the screen while you're in cover. And that's where the sticky will hit no matter what and no matter how far. That'll do it for this guide. Stay tuned for this explosive build shown in the gameplay. If this video helped you out in any way, please drop a like. And if you haven't subscribed yet, then I'd appreciate it if you would. Until I see you in my next video, be right out.